Hi everyone, today's headlines. NPG urged to present unified documents in talks with sender. Earnest for political settlement lies with us, says Naga Hoho. RBP calls for Temjin Imna Along's removal amid fraud allegations. ASU detects illegal immigrants and defaulters without valid permit. News in details. NPG urged to present unified documents in talks with sender. A consultative meeting convened by the Nagaland government brought together a broad spectrum of stakeholders to deliberate the ongoing Indo-Naga political issue on Thursday. Addressing media personnel following the meeting, spokesperson for the state government and Power and Parliamentary Affairs Minister KG Kenya said, Today's meeting saw the participation of all stakeholders including tribal hohos, representatives from civil society, mass-based organization, church bodies, NGOs, gazetted officers union, student bodies and political parties. He informed that after thorough deliberations, the House resolved to appeal to all Naga political groups and national workers to refrain from any further factionalism, the formation of breakaway groups or the creation of new organizations. Earnest for political settlement lies with us, says Naga Hoho. The Naga Hoho on Thursday expressed optimism that the consultative meeting to deliberate on the Naga political issue convened by the government of Nagaland will part will facilitate to bring the Indo-Naga political talks to the forefront again after being relegated to the back burner for quite some time. In a press release, the Naga Hoho hoped that the various Naga tribal hohos and civil society organizations participating in the said meeting will bear in mind that any settlement that is not mutually agreed, inclusive and honorable from the Naga people's standpoint will only bring more discord and conflict within the Naga family. RPP calls for Temjin Imna Along's removal amid fraud allegations. The Rising People's Party has called for the removal of Minister for Higher Education, Temjin Imna Along, from the Council of Ministers following a serious fraud case involving 125 crore that has been recently made national headlines. In a press statement, the RPP criticized Higher Education Minister for downplaying the gravity of the case, referring to it as a normal business dispute, which the party finds deeply troubling. Temjin Imna Along fraud case involving Rs 125 crore has made national headlines but his utterness has tribalized cheating and fraud which is condemnable. The stupendian silence of state BJP in their refusal to bring their colleague to task shows their double standard as well. The RPP press release read, ASU detects illegal immigrants and defaulters without valid permit. The Angami Students Union on Thursday announced it detected at least eight illegal immigrants and hundreds with no valid permit during a vigil checking on September 11. The ASU in this connection has written to the Deputy Commissioner expressing shock and anguish over what is alleged as lackadaisical action of the district administration in properly implementing the inner line permit regulations in Koima, which has constrained the union to take remedial measures. That's all for now. To get this news, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.